This is Paul Turner, the Immigration Brass at Imperium Chambers. Thank you for tuning into my channel. Please subscribe to it. And if you have an immigration problem, please contact me and I'll do my best to help you. Today I'm going to be talking about the recent government announcement that immigration fees and the immigration health surcharge are going to be massively increased. I would like to stress at the beginning that no date has been announced as to when these increases will come into force. I would therefore suggest that if you are thinking of making an immigration application of any kind, whether that is in the United Kingdom or from abroad, that you make it as soon as possible and I'm happy to help you in regard to that. If you make the application now, you will at least save a fair amount of money. I'm going to start by talking about the proposed fees and what they are before going on to comment about them. The government has also announced the abolition of some fees. These are of a fairly minor nature and will not bring a lot of relief to very many people, but I will cover them as well for the sake of completeness. The headline point is the government's announcement in respect of the immigration health surcharge. The current rate that needs to be paid by a migrant is £624 per year per person. This is going to be massively increased to £1,035 per person per year. This is the largest increase as announced by the Home Office and will cause the largest pain to migrants. At the moment, the immigration health surcharge often is more expensive to pay than the Home Office immigration fees. Now, the immigration health surcharge for a three-year visa will dwarf the actual immigration fee itself. The discounted rate for the immigration health surcharge for students, youth and mobility, youth mobility visas, will be increased from £440 a year to £776 per year. The justification for this increase is stated to be that it would fund the pay rise for new doctors. Now turning to the immigration and nationality fees. The cost of an application for leave to remain, settlement, otherwise known as indefinite leave to remain, citizenship, entry clearance, will rise by at least 20%. This is a shocking raise. Work and visit visas are not spared from these increases and will increase by 15%. These are the figures. What are they going to mean to migrants? To give you an idea of what we are talking about, the cost for settlement application will therefore rise to at least £2,885 per person. For a family of four, that will be well over £11,500. That family will have also paid something like £15,000 in immigration health surcharge costs and that assumes no further price rises in the next five years. Also, their visa fees will have typically amounted to around £6,200, which again assumes no further increases in the meantime. They will have needed to have paid for additional services from the Home Office, and then that's, there's also the cost of a lawyer. The cost in total um, for the Home Office is likely to be around £33,000. This is without any Home Office fees. This is a huge amount of money. Turning to the good news, which I said I would do at the beginning, and there is not very much of that, the Home Office is going to abolish the £19.20, which they charge for the biometric en enrolment. They will also abolish the £161 charge for the transfer of conditions. These will no longer be charged for amending details on physical documents such as name, sex marker, nationality and photograph. These will also be abolished for like-to-like -like replacement of a biometric permit where the document has expired. This will primarily benefit those with indefinite leave to remain whose cars have a maximum 10-year validity, with most due to expire in 2024. The cost of student and priority applications outside the United Kingdom will be equalised. Previously it was cheaper to apply from in the United Kingdom and more expensive from abroad. So at least there's some form of standardisation there. Thankfully, at the moment, there is no time frame for when these fees will be increased. Of course, 
you may be entitled to make a fee waiver application for certain applications and I will be more than happy to assist you with any fee waiver application. Immigration fees are extremely high now and much, much higher than when they were when I started. Some people have questioned whether or not they are legal, which may lead to some litigation and I will keep you updated if things change, but I do not place great weight on any challenge to the immigration fees. On a personal level, I have long thought that charging migrants huge amounts of fees is fundamentally unfair. And I am more disturbed that British citizens who fall in love with foreigners will find themselves or their partners paying huge amounts of money just being able to live together. This seems to be manifestly unfair, but it does seem to reflect this government's targeting of migrants, either for demonising them or raising money. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you found it useful. Please do not hesitate to contact me if you have any queries arising out of this subject or whether I can assist you in respect of any immigration matter. Please stay safe and do take care. This is Paul Turner, the Immigration Barrister at Imperium Chambers.